Up this week, I've been put to a little bit of a challenge. These guys wanted me to make a Yorkshire pudding wrap. Oh, yeah, I wasn't secretly eating one while you were doing the no, intro. <laughs> Honest, I think you did all right. <laughs> it, is, it is pretty much the most biggest thing on the internet at the moment. It's a beautiful Yorkshire pudding stuffed with chicken, bacon, sausages, carrots, a little bit of gravy. I mean, what's not to like? It's like a portable roast dinner. So, if you want to see how to make this little lot for Christmas or Sunday roast, pop along to these guys' channel, The Lean Machines. You've seen them before. They've been on the channel before anyway. Go and check this out. We've done roast chicken. So good. Broccoli cheese, homemade stuffing, loads of mixed veg, and giant Yorkies. Now, while I mention Yorkies... Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. Slammed it in there. We're going to do a really simple, but yet... So popular at the moment, Yorkshire wrap. Okay then, so ingredients wise, Leon, you know this recipe now because you made, you made it last Christmas, didn't uh, you? Is it the 432 last potentially Christmas. one ice cube mix? That's it, so we're gonna go in here yep. and measure out 100 grams of flour. Now I realise that basically we've done two hours of cooking on your channel. Yeah. And then you come on mine and you just make me Yorkshire food. Just use the dregs for it, Ian's, it's all good. Am I good to pour? Yeah, 100 grams. So you don't need to sieve this flour? No, it's fine. Okay, cool. 100 grams That's of flour. Yeah. Into the bowl. Oh, this bowl, okay. Yeah. So we have measured out 250 millilitres of full fat milk. That's going in here. Yeah, in it goes. Wang jangle it in. Well done, Leon. Good pouring. Fanny work. Like it. God, you're milking that. Ooh. 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 Give that a good whisk through. Now, John. Oh God, I want to give again. you the one-handed egg crack test. So one each. Oh, oh next up. This is tense now. I can't beat that because that was like rapid fast, but. Yeah, there he is. So what makes this slightly different to a normal Yorkshire pudding mix is we're gonna get some baking powder in there. Oh. Just kind of fluffs it up, doesn't make it too tough. So it won't go too crispy, which means you can still roll it. Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't want it ripping, do you? So yeah. how much do you want, Just mate? a teaspoon. That's it, perfect. Okay, and now just click the tap to white. Ooh. Top one, that's it. Now just pull that forward, just add just a splash of sparkling water in there. Oh, right way. That's it, perfect. Just a splash. God. Now that splash. Everyone just lost their mind. That's Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Too much soda water! <laughs> so that was splash. Yep, just a little bit of sparkle in there is just gonna give it a little bit more bubbles as well. Ah, that's bubbles. interesting. Bubbles. All right, over here. We've got two pans. Now it's important to get a pan that's gonna be non-stick because this will stick 100%. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So we're gonna go in there with a little bit of um, vegetable oil. I'm gonna make this quite big because I gather you boys are quite hungry. We cooked this massive roast on their channel but haven't really been able to eat it yet. I, yeah. I had some of it. So you have to have quite a lot of oil, don't you, for Yorkies not to stick? Yeah, because it's gonna go, it's gonna be rise, rising slightly. It's not gonna take all that oil up. That will we'll, no. we'll dust a lot of that off at the end. But you want enough so that it has enough hot fat for it to be able to raise slightly, mm -hmm. but not too much. <laughs> so you're gonna put that in the oven just to get it nice and hot. So how long you left those in there? Right, that's been in there for exactly five minutes. Oh, that's really hot. That is hot. So be careful, boys. Let's get the other one out. Oh, I got my eyebrows. Get my eyebrows done for free coming around yours. <laughs> so pour in yep. a decent amount of that batter mix into there. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Right, wang jangle the rest in there. Wang jangle is the term. Love a wang jangle. Whoa. Okay. Right now, using your tea cloth that you haven't got, backwards and forwards until you've got exactly what you want. Oh, nicey and the, the old backwardsy forwardsy. We're in. Right, they can go in your oven. The old flickeroo. Into your oven at 180 Celsius for around 10 to 15 minutes until they've risen by about that much. Well, they keep rising. They'll keep rising. So you, you want it to stay reasonably flat. So open up your door slightly on the oven, yeah? And just let the heat just circulate and it'll just crisp it through slightly. Oh, wow. wowzers. Mic drop, or tea towel drop in this case. <laughs> That's right, boys, you've got one each. Can you give me the Nutella and strawberries? I, I, mate, I, mean, I didn't expect that. I didn't think that was going to work like it has. That's what you're looking for. So it's still pliable. Yeah? So it's still like a wrap. Okay. Oh, first time. How are we looking? 
Oh, yes! Now for yours, slightly smaller one. Yeah. Oh, but look how well they came off. Okay, so we're going to layer up. This is the chicken that we did earlier, which is over on their channel. Do you mind if I build this slightly? Yeah, do it, mate. You do sure? It. I'll only ruin it. This is quite a big thing at the moment. I don't know if you've seen these online, but there's a place up in Yorkshire where literally it queues out of the door, I don't know, about 200 people deep with these beautiful wraps. This is kind of where I got the idea from. Homemade stuffing, again, that's on their channel. So a little bit of broccoli and cheese. We've got potatoes. I think they need to be cut up, don't you? Every yeah. time it comes to like the plate and up, I go dead quiet. I'm just like, it's just like watching, you're just watching a, yeah, watching a master with his trade at work. It's the dribble territory with you boys, isn't it? It is, I just want to take a step back. A little bit of sweet potato. You want sweet potato, John? Yeah, yeah it's going, man, why not? It was getting quite full on here, isn't it? Yep. What else we got? Wiener. Pigs in blanket. Sausage. Sausage. Leon loves sausage. Yes. Like so. Oh, this gravy is great. Gravy. I mean, just look at that. Nice. Good amount over the top. Over here, we've got carrots. Because you've got to have your veggies in there as well. Ah. So, a little bit of your greens. Yeah. Don't overkill it. Finish that off with just an optional good dollop of cranberry all the way down one side. Now, it's the important bit. Wrapping paper. Because this is for Christmas, we're going to put this over the top. So when I lift this up, put it underneath. Yeah. Go. Right. Over. Yeah. Good roll. You ready? Yeah. Pull it together. Yeah. All the way over. Roll the ends up. Oh, he's going there. Blunt your knife, mate. And that is what you're looking for. That is a wrap of dreams. Right. Can I eat it? Go for it. You can have the other half of this one, John, to get you started with. Oh my God, that is... I can hear the noises of excitement coming from you both. That is unbelievable. I know, I know it's not the best for you, but sometimes Christmas, it's all you about have balance. a little bit of indulgent, a little bit of enjoyment. That's a game changer. Happy? <laughs> As I say, if you want to know how to make this full roast, click over to these guys' channel. I've got an awesome channel full of fitness, food, just absolute pleasure working with you guys as always. Thanks for coming on the channel. Same man, thanks for having I'm us. Dead. I'm done. If you get recreating this one, which you must do, I want to see it on social media. So hashtag me, hashtag Haste Kitchen as always. Please subscribe to the channel. Please go and check out their guys' video. Thank Definitely. you. And we'll see you hey, soon. Honestly, this is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Thanks, guys. Have a great Christmas. See you later. Bye.